Welcome guys, so today I am with the Google Pixel 7 Pro and I will show you unboxing of this device with small comparison to the Pixel 7 and the quick overview about the camera application and the base specification and also box accessories. Okay, so let's start, let's open this phone. So we have to get rid of these two stickers that we can find on the back of the box. Okay, and there's the phone. That's how it looks. This lens looks really big actually. And it comes uh, with this screen protection and there's the information about the buttons right here, the power button, volume buttons, fingerprint sensor built into the screen, now USB-C port at the bottom, as you can see, also the speakers. And uh, right here, we got the SIM tray, so we can input here SIM cards. Okay, so let's get rid of that. It's a little bit curved display. Selfie camera, let's power on this device. Okay, and we can put it, uh, I guess, right here, this time. And we can take a look on the box accessories. So uh, in the box, so we can find this uh, adapter. It's USB-A to the USB-C. There is also USB-C cable. And inside we can find probably warranty the base information about the smartphone how to use it nothing interesting and right here we can find this um, USB-C tool to open the SIM tray okay so let's put it back the box and accessories there's nothing more inside and if you are wondering about the comparison to the Pixel 7 uh, the packaging is identical as you can see that's the adapter cable and the manual nothing more okay and here we are with the screen uh, welcome to the pixel uh, I think that we can go for the first setup and I'm gonna t tell you about the specification so at the first mm, we got this a little bit curved display uh, you can find it right here and it's 6.7 inch AMOLED with 120 Hertz refresh rate. Also it's um, HDR, HDR 10 plus. Let's go for the first steps. I'm gonna make it really quick to get access to the base function of the phone because I'm really interested about the camera in this smartphone. Okay, and uh, we get also the protection of the screen. Uh, there is no any foil or something like that. And so we I can recommend you to apply some kind of the tempered glass or foil, something like that. Uh, but we can find right here the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. Okay, let's skip the navigation. Uh, swipe up to go home and there we are. Okay, so the device works really smooth actually. You can turn on the maximum brightness level. Okay, it's too much because in the camera preview it looks like it's overexposure, so I think that we can set it up like that. Because uh, on the maximum brightness you can get 1500 and it's of the brightness in the maximum peak, so that's all. Uh, we have the phone with the Android 13. Just take a look when you go for the about one and check the Android version. As you can see, that's the Android 13 with this characteristic clock animation. The chipset that we have right here, it's the same for the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. Now on the both devices, we got the Google Tensor G2. We got also uh, the GPU Mali G710. If you are wondering about uh, the internal storage of this device, uh, right here, we can find the 128 gigs and 200 56 and the last configuration it's 512 gigs there's the internal storage UFS 
and if you're wondering about the cameras there's the main 50 megapixel sensor mm, there is also the telephoto lens 48 megapixel and the ultra wide it's 12 megapixel on the front we can also find uh, the camera it's 10.8 megapixel so i guess we can quickly open the camera application and we can make small comparison of the camera let me just clean the lenses okay let's take photo for example of this button in front of me and let's do the same right now with the pixel 7 okay let's take a look on the both devices Okay, looks like this one is definitely brighter and I think it will be about the screen brightness. Okay, so for me the picture looks better on the Pixel 7, but I think it's all about it's all about this brightness on the screen, but let me just take a look on this modes it looks like it was turned on to the night mode let's put it closer let's make it one more time okay and on the 7 pro and let's take a look on the photos right now Okay, actually it looks identical. There is like no big difference. Maybe we can find a little bit better quality right here on this right photo. Especially when you take a look or right here on this place. But there's like no big difference when you take a look on the photo like that. And it's all because uh, the phones have the same main sensor 50 megapixel uh, right here on the back. And if you are wondering about the size of this phone, so let me just turn off the screen. As you can see, the Pixel 7 Pro, it's a little bit bigger. On the 7, we have flat display. On the 7 Pro, we got curved display. It's also a little bit wider, as you can see. And what about the thickness? When you take a look like that, I think it's it's the same. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. Uh, there was quick unboxing uh, with the overview, like the specification, the box accessories, and the base information. Uh, for me, the 7 Pro looks uh, a little bit better. It's thanks to this curved display. I just prefer this kind of the displays in the phone i also have the huawei p30 pro with the same curved display and for me it looks better of course in the p30 pro you got um, biggest curved right here it's not like it's not, not that big on the pixel 7 pro but it's still curved and for me it fits really good and it looks better than the standard flat screen so yeah, that's all for this video. If you find it helpful, just remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you are looking for any tutorial videos of this smartphone of game test, or for example, you want to know how to apply the tempered glass for this device, you can also find this kind of the videos on our channel, on our Hard Reset Pro main channel and on the second channel, Hard Reset Info. So yeah, that's all. See ya guys.